When Conrad Zeus developed the first programmable computer in 1936, little did he know it would turn into a little teenager's dream toy and source of excitement. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. The ever-reliable computer. First generation computers were really big and could occupy a room. They used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory. These computers relied on machine language and could only solve one problem at a time. Then the second generation computers came. These are the transistors which replaced the vacuum tube and are smaller, faster and kind of cheaper. The third generation computers became even smaller when the transistors were replaced with silicon chips called semiconductors. The microprocessor brought the fourth generation of computers. Thousands of integrated circuits were built in a single silicon chip and with this came the computers which could fit in the palm of your hand. Speaking of processors, this little sticker tells you the kind of processor your computer has. But what is a processor in the first place? Well, that question will be answered by an expert. Actually, processor it helps the PC uh, do some tasks like uh, multitasking, multimedia. When it comes to the high-end processors, the price range niya is around 60000 for the processor only. For the good motherboard then, usually it costs around 30000 for the for the motherboard only. Sa Intel Atom processor, ginagamit lang siya sa minimal platform like yung web browsing, documents, and at the same time, pwede siguro siyang gaming, like yung mga 3D games, mga minimal games lang na hindi naman kailangan yung mga matataas uh, or yung matataas na system requirements for the game. So there you have it! And maybe next time, I will teach you how to assemble your own computer. First, I gotta learn how to do that. Anyway, this is me, Miguel Sarnis, staying connected only here in Newswatch Junior Edition.